Like, oh my gosh, mind blowing. I've never heard that before. Salut tout le monde, welcome back to the channel. If you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Francia and on this channel, we talk about lifestyle, beauty, makeup, fashion, life, and everything in between. So I hope you consider hitting your subscribe button and your notification bell so that you always know when I upload. Okay, so today's video is gonna be really, really, really quick. I'm not even gonna keep you guys long. I just wanna talk about something real quick. Okay, my very first encounter with um, Candace Owens was the around the George Floyd situation and we, we, we got off on the wrong foot, right? But for whatever reason, she's been popping up on my feed. So I've been watching some of her videos and you know, I love me some Candace. Like we, we and Candace were like, we're right here now, right? But the way that Candace has been going in on Prince Harry and, and, and Meghan is just like, oh my gosh, she has been reading them for the filth. And I just am sitting here waiting. I'm like, when is, when is it that Megan is going to pop out of nowhere and like just defend Bay? You know, like she hasn't said anything. Like Candace has had a mouthful to say about Prince Harry and Megan just hasn't said anything. I, I mean, I get PR or whatever. I get it. Like you can't just make statements that anybody and everybody who has, who has something to say about your situation. But like Candace has been, Candace has been very brutally honest about, about how she feels about the situation she said people like them have a have a people like uh, prince harry and Meghan have like a special place in hell she she called harry uneducated i will i will link the clip so that you guys can watch that interview and she also made another video where she was um not reviewing What's the word I'm looking for? We'll we'll use review for now because I can't I can't think of the word the word. But she was like reviewing Harry's. She was going over Harry's Harry's book, right? And oh my goodness, she just she just is not here for it. And I'm like, come on, Megan, say something. Like the the tiny bit of trauma loving cell that I have in me is like waiting for Megan to say something. Like she has called this woman's husband everything under the sun and she's had a few choice words for Megan too, but like I see nothing. I'm just sitting here waiting. Oh my gosh, you know what would be even better is if Megan and Candace <laughs> ended up on each other's podcast like whoever whoever makes the first move it could be megan or it could be it could be candace but they both have a podcast and i think that for all that is good and pure in this universe like megan should like have candace over on her podcast i can't say that word podcast podcast on her podcast or vice versa so that the two ladies could like have at it i don't know I don't particularly agree with everything that Candace have to Candace has to say, but at the same time, I don't know these folks and I'm not I'm not that invested. It's not really my ministry. Like every time I see something in the headline about them, I look at my bank account, it's still the same, you know. Um, nothing happens to me, nothing happens to my life, you know. Whatever they do with theirs is, is their problem. She lies, she lies not. I don't know. Harry's educated, he's not. He's dumb, he's not. I don't know, I don't care. But like, I'm here for like, you know, like defend Bay, Megan, defend Bay. It's one thing for, but then again, I know this could all have to do with PR, but it's one thing for someone to like question your relationship. But like, if someone was like trash talking about husband like that i would have a couple of things to say but anyways that's just me um i can't make this up i can't make this up you guys here's here's what candace had to say one of a lot of the things that candace had to say about megan and harry or as i like to call them hegan here you go take a listen take a look I thought your analysis of this book was spot on. You've called Harry despicable for trying to trash the royal family's reputation and dragging them below even what the Kardashians uh, would get up to. So from an American perspective, do you think he has succeeded in damaging the monarchy or is the biggest damage actually to the brand of himself and Meghan? 
without question to himself and Megan, I think that Americans were split 50 50 maybe a couple of months ago when it came to Harry and Megan. But the problem is that they can't close their mouths and they just keep talking and it seems more and more petty. I mean, I was early on this. Uh, when Megan and Harry were still in the royal family and living at Frogmore, I wrote an open statement on Twitter, which you can go back and look, that she was going to end up back in the United States and in Los Angeles because I just saw her coming. She's a D list actress and all she's ever wanted to do was be invited to A-list events. And she's been a social climber from the beginning. She married somebody uh, the first time to socially climb. And for her, uh, Harry was just an entry ticket into all of those circles. Unfortunately, she found someone. She's not very intelligent. She's not very talented. Uh, nobody in America was watching Suits. She was an actress that was living in Canada. Mm. And fortunately for her, and credit to her, she found someone that is dumber than her. And that's, that's the truth, is that Harry's just not a very smart person. And if there's one thing that this book definitely is not, it's a good advertisement for Eaton, right? I mean, if <laughs> If I'm thinking about whether or not I want to send my call, my son, Ethan, I'm telling you, I'm thinking now, ooh, uh, did this guy graduate? He begins his book with a quote he says is from brainyquote.com. And then he says he found out that it was from William Faulkner and, and thought to himself, who the F is William Faulkner? He put this in his book. It just it instantly lets you know how non-academic he is. And, and so you feel bad for him only because I do believe that he is a victim of his own stupidity. And I, and I mean that, and I'm saying heartfelt, just so you know, uh, that is the best case scenario is that Harry is a victim of his own stupidity. And he's also tremendously privileged. And when I read this book, I just said that the new title, you, it should either be spite or privileged. He actually believes that the things that he has lived through has rendered him a victim. He thinks uh, he goes uh, in, in this prologue he starts talking about attending i believe eaton college i think it was the prologue and he, he sort of recounts this story about how william said to him that he didn't want to hang out with him at school at eaton that has happened in every family in the entire world siblings don't want to hang out with each other in school you're trying to distance yourself from your siblings so you can establish yourself as a person it doesn't make harry a special individual it makes him regular that he had the nerve to put into his book that while living in Balmoral, Balmoral Castle, a castle, an actual castle, he details that it has 50 rooms. And his gripe is that he had to share a room with William and that he got the, the bad half of the room. In a castle with 50 rooms, this is supposed to be relatable. It's not very relatable. Every person under the sun, as a younger sibling, forget being the heir or the spare, understands that the older sibling is afforded certain privileges, like the bigger room. That happens in households all across the world. But Harry Bo actually believes that this is some slight against his childhood. And then I just want to add here, going back to uh, why I do believe that he is a victim of his own stupidity. He writes this this one paragraph where he details how he's always been the spare, right? He's always been the spare mm. and that he was told explicitly, he uses the word explicitly, that he existed to perhaps provide a spare kidney or some spare bone marrow. Let me tell you, Dan, okay? I don't need fact checkers. That just never happened. Nowhere in the history <laughs> of the world did ever turn over to a younger sibling and say, yeah, no you way. exist for a spare kidney no or way. for um, some spare bone marrow. That's not even how it works in the medical field. Yeah. Just because you're a sibling doesn't mean that you're necessarily a match. So it's so ridiculous. And uh, you know, to me, it ranks as a great trove of comedy. Yeah. 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 She said all of that. And, and, and Megan is not saying anything. My whole thing is, is that when do you say something? Say something, I'm giving up on you. Say something, PR people, put it together. I want to see, I personally want to see Megan defend herself. If not against anybody else on the face of the universe, but like Candace, come on, come on. You have got to say something. Come out, Megan. Defend Bay. Like she's called your husband everything. Just, just say something. But anyways. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Like I said, I don't know the people. I don't, that's not even my culture. I am not royalty from here. My kingdom is in heaven. <laughs> and so therefore I don't relate to earthly royals, okay? So I don't have an opinion on their lives. The one thing I will say though, is I, I will say they did get out of the situation where everything was provided for them. And um, a lot of people were disagreeing about um, Harry airing out their, his, his family's dirty laundry to make money. And Candace, one of the things that she was seeing in one of her videos was that the things that Harry put in the book, 
like they're not worthy of being put in the book. They're like mundane stuff. But here's my only, um, only thought with that. If I, regular schmegular me, share the same experience as Harry as we all have, but if I put that in a book, who cares? Like no one cares about me. I don't have that status to where like people like know me and then they're just gonna, anything I put out there, they're just gonna buy. But he's a prince. He is from the royal family, like a family that everybody looks up to, a family that is very well known like around the world. So if he puts I spit on the ground in a book, someone is going to, people are going to buy it. And the sad thing is they have to make money because they're no longer being supported by the royal family. And he doesn't have, look, what else is he gonna do? I don't agree with like um, airing everything from his side of the family. I don't agree with that. But at the same time, he has to make money. They, they don't have any other means of supporting themselves. It's not like Megan had like, gazillions of dollars just sitting there waiting for her she was a bear she was like candace said she wasn't even a very well known actor i've never watched not a singular episode of suit so i don't even know so yeah that's my only thing with that is they had to make money yes the, the things that he put on there are not like oh my gosh mind-blowing i've never heard that before but at the same time because he's known he's very well known and he has to make money so the mundane stuff that are part of his life is what gets to go in the book, sadly. But anyways, you guys watch the stuff and let me know what you think down below in the comment. That's all I have to say on that Harry and Meghan situation. <laughs> I just need, I just need, I just need Meghan to like get with Candace and, and do something. But anyways, moving on. I am very upset by the next thing I am going to talk about. Apparently, let me grab my note because I'm upset. Apparently, the Rolling Stones, um, their new magazine is, is out, right? And it's their updated list of the, the 200 greatest singers of all time. Of all time. Because, because the, some of the people that I saw on there, I, I, I have no idea who they are, who they were, and it some of them looked like they were from another planet from the 19, 19, the, the 1910 or the 1800, right? That's what they look like. And that's fine, I'm fine with it, I'm fine with it. But what got to me, what made me very upset about this list, and I feel like my blood is boiling, is the fact that Homegirl wasn't on there. Now tell me why. Tell me why. You would update a list of 200 greatest singers of all time and Celine Dion did not make it on that list. I know I'm yelling, excuse my echo. You're gonna have to whoop, uh, work with me with the echo until I figure my life out. But why would Celine Dion not be on that list? I, I was looking, I was so invested. <laughs> I was so upset and so invested. I went down the entire list, the 200 people that were on there. The people that I don't know, the, people, the folks that I cannot, that was from the 1800 that I cannot readily identify. I've never heard anything from them. I've never heard any of their records. I'm not going to ish on them because I don't know them. I've never listened to their stuff, so I can't judge. But some of the people that I do know, that I do know, that I saw on there, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? How in the heck? Okay. I started thinking, okay, are, are we are we are we thinking about this based on on genre? Celine's genre, Celine category was on here on that list, and she was not on there. So I'm like, okay, are we going? Are we are we are we are we 
putting these people on the list based on their ability to sing or their ability to perform or their ability to sing and perform because Celine Dion is a great singer and a great performer. If her genre is on here and we're going by the, by ability to to like vocal performance and like in like physical performance like what like entertainment wise like why is she not on there? Now tell me why. Erica Badu, that's her name, right? I've heard her sing, okay? I've heard her sing. The reason why I'm going with her is because I've heard of her. Ain't no way she sings better than Brandy. Tell me why Brandy was at 193 on the list and, and Erica Badu was at 115. Tell me why. I'm like, who who is is picking out the people? There is there someone alive from the 1800 that is making this list, that is that is reviewing this list. That like who is the editor of this list that Erica Badu, Erica, Erica Badu, whatever her name is, would would chart at 115 and and Brandy would be all the way at 193, right? Who who is coming up with this list? And then the next one Again, don't get me wrong, Taylor Swift is a good performer, but I refuse to believe that Taylor Swift is a better singer than Carrie Underwood. So why did Taylor Swift come in at 102 and Carrie Underwood is at 158? Like what? What is happening? What is happening? Now, I, I still love me some Carrie Underwood, don't get me wrong, right? But, but, why is Kelly Clarkson, the Kelly Clarkson, why did Kelly rank at 194 and Carrie Underwood is at 158? Now, you cannot tell me that Kelly is not a far better singer than Carrie Underwood. This list is jacked up. Okay, is what this list is. It is entirely jacked up and y'all need to fix it. And my girl needs to go on there. And some of these people, like Lady Gaga is at number 58. What the heck is Lady Gaga doing at number 58? And, and Kelly Clarkson is at 194. Like what? It, somebody needs to fix it. Somebody needs to fix it because this list is jacked up and put my girl on there because she deserves to be on there. She's a great performer. She is a great vocalist and y'all tripping. I don't know who made up this list, but y'all need to figure this out because this is ridiculous. This is unpopular opinion, but I happen to think that Jennifer Hudson is a really, is a great vocalist some people are like ah all she does is yell but do you got her pipes though do you got her pipes can you learn can you yell this beautifully can you yell on on key you cannot scream on key so yeah she is a great vocalist and she was not even on there what the heck is erica badu doing on there that's the part that I don't understand. Like a lot of these people that are on there have no business being on there. Meanwhile, Celine Dion is not on there. Jennifer Hudson didn't make it on that list. Seriously, fix it. It's a problem. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. That is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next one. But until then, I hope to see you in the comment section. Bye.